okay, tabletop appliances, all this kind of stuff. When we're talking about trying to run this stuff off grid, one of the things you got to do, and when you're adding up your battery and inverter capacity, is on the backs of these things, okay, there's usually going to be some kind of a wattage. There's going to be some kind of a label on the back of the bottom that tells you, like this one that's on the bottom, uh, somewhere, it'll tell you what kind of power it's using. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 1,000 watts. That means, you can see that, 120, 60, 1,000 watts. That means that this tiny little toaster on it, okay, needs a 20 amp circuit, okay, which is really a 2KW uh, inverter. It's going to use a thousand watts to make something in that tiny little toaster oven. And um, that's to run a tiny little heating element. So when we're talking about a, a 2KW inverter and a thousand watts of power to run this thing, you know, you're, you're not going to run it all, the, all day, every day. But if somebody's in a food cart and they just want to have a bun warmer, realize that bun warmer alone is going to start taking up most of the roof space just on the solar power to run that. So if you're doing cooking with solar electric, realize this is one of the smaller toasters here, and that's starting to use all that power. Uh, now, there's some ways to make that more efficient, but also realize as soon as you start getting into some overcast, cloudy days, uh, running a, an electric kitchen off of solar power starts getting real tricky, okay? And then when you start talking about some of these blenders, believe it or not, there's huge differences in the power, different, uh, power that some of these use. And because they're electric motors, a lot of these things can have the startup amperage that a full power power tool requires, okay? And that's why I test a lot of stuff with a power saw. And somebody says, well, I'm just running a little blender. If we're running full power power tools, um, believe it or not, some of that power drain is pretty close to what the blenders are. Coffee makers can actually be a little more efficient. And I talked to some people that wanted to know, okay, can I run a coffee cart with solar? Um, that is possible. It's, it's not, still gonna take a lot of power, but it can be done, okay? The problem is you're not gonna produce a whole lot of volume. Now, when I get into the retreat living stuff, um, you can do that, you know, you can make the, the pot of coffee in the morning off of solar. That's, that's workable. We can boil water. There's a few different ways we can do kettle brewing stuff. Um, you, we, we can make that happen. Blenders, mixers, believe it or not, man, these things are big power tools uh, when it comes to using the electricity. But if you have uh, a pretty good size array at your location, it can work. One of the issues you run into the stuff with the electric motors, though, some of these electric motors do not like inverter power. Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly what it is, but heavy-duty stuff usually comes with AC power uh, motors, and they don't like inverter power. Uh, retrofitting them to 12 volt is possible, but tricky, and I personally right now don't know anyone who does it. I know it can be done, I just don't know anyone who does it.